I'd like to now assemble the hold down pockets, which are these pieces up here on the rocket. When they are assembled, they'll look like this. And what they do is they hold the legs, the tips of the legs, to keep them from swinging while the rocket is going upwards. Um, so I'll go ahead and get this out of the way. And again, this is what it's going to look like. And what yours at this point should be black like this. Um, well, they should be in pieces right now, but I already glued this one up. Um, they should be black. Um, we're going to need two of part D1 and then also D3 and D2. You'll also need the gluing spacer. This is the temporary spacer, and we're not going to glue this. This is just to get the distance right between the legs because, because there's nothing in between. They can move in and out, and we don't want them squeezed too tight or they won't fit on the rocket properly. You'll notice on the body tube, there's these four slots, and that is where those little tabs go, right there on the spacer. Or, and the spacer makes it to the correct distance. So the way this goes together, you'll have your two side pieces. D3 will go on the front slope, and D2 on the back slope, or on the back, with the little cutout towards the bottom. So I'm going to put glue along the sides where they touch and then into the pockets. And I got my handy dandy glue applicator, but you can use just a regular wood glue bottle. That will work too. It's just a little bit messier. Have paper towels ready to go because you're going to be um, cleaning up some of the glue mess. So I'm putting it on the tops. And I'll also get in those little corners because the pieces touch there as well. I'm going to do both sides. And now the spacer is going to go on the bottom, and that's going to help us to align things. So D3 is going to go in the front. I'm going to turn it inside out so that you can't see the lettering. But it's up to you. If you want it to show, that's fine. It'll work just as well. You can see the spacer down here. It's holding things correctly. And then D2 will go on top like that. And here's your paper towel. Here's where you're going to wipe off all the excess glue. And now carefully on the inside, take that glue stick like we did before. You want to scrape out on the inside. Um, that's because when the leg comes in, I don't want it grabbing on any of that glue. And I'm going to put the spacer back into position. Make sure there's no glue on there. Just inspect that because we don't want to be gluing that on there. Give it a good squeeze. And I'm going to let that sit and dry before doing the other two. Um, and in the meantime, you can go ahead to the next video and do the latch. Because we're going to do the latch basically the same way. We're going to glue one at a time so that we can alternate latch and the pocket until they're all glued together.